Hi, my name is Matthew Brennan, and I'm a 2005 graduate of Sauk Prairie High School. Uh, after Sauk Prairie, I went to Drake University to study voice performance and music education. Um, and since then, I have been teaching in the Sauk Prairie School District with two years at Sauk Prairie Middle School and the last 10 years at Sauk Prairie High School. Yeah, at Sauk Prairie High School, I direct all of the choirs and show choirs. I also get to direct our annual musical and madrigal dinners um, and just have a blast doing all of that extra stuff that I loved in high school. Uh, I also perform in probably the only all teacher band in the Sauk Prairie area. Um, we're the Water Street Jacks, available on Spotify. And uh, perform in as many theater guild opportunities as, as I can inside of our own guild here with the South Prairie Theater Guild. I had a benefit of working at the middle school for two years with Sue and Karen at the high school level. So there were a lot of opportunities for me to be involved in the program at an educator level um, versus just coming in as a former student and I think that both of them really effectively helped make the transition feel comfortable for me, especially. Um, the first two years of being at the high school, I was, I was blessed to have Sue as my, my district mentor, where we would have formal meetings for the school district stuff, but also um, informal meetings over over drinks at the press box or informal meetings um, at, at the riv while she she played the machine and I was really thankful for those moments because it made that intimidation it, it lowered it by just knowing that she supported me in that transition um, knowing that she supported Matt in that transition I also being brand new to the role with Matt Kaczynski, we were sort of discovering things together and that helped as well. So um, those first few years were great because Sue and Karen were involved and, and they wanted us to be successful. It wasn't, a, there was no pride involved as far as, well, we built this program, it needs to stay the same. Um, many encouragements to make changes that they had thought about, but they had, had secured in place. I, I would give Denny Khan a lot of credit for convincing me that this was something worth pursuing. Um, as far as my own belief in myself, that probably didn't come until later on in high school, but I think that that initial spark happened in the eighth grade when Mr. Khan convinced me to do a musical and then convinced me to do eighth grade show choir. Uh, and that just started um, a self-belief inside of music that I had only experienced in athletics up to that point in time. In Italy, at St. Francis of Assisi's Cathedral in Assisi. Uh, the Drake Choir got to perform uh, for whoever was in Assisi at that time and decided to come to a choir concert. But it was one of the most memorable goosebump moments of my life. Sue and Karen always talked about creating magical moments through art and that that's our goal as performers and standing on stage in a foreign country with 48 of my closest friends at that point in time and singing in a beautiful space that was designed for choral music. That was probably the moment when I realized that collaborative music was more important to me than solo music. And I think that that has guided me on a trajectory since then. It, it might be when I decided that choral education was where I wanted to invest my time versus individual performance, because it was there was a power in that room that could not have been created by me alone or any of us on our own. 
in college, I questioned whether I had the drive that my peers had in school. I didn't always want to spend the time in the practice rooms that was expected of me or um, working on the foreign language diction that I needed to, to be the voice major that I had, had signed up to be. But the more that I invested in, I think college is where you realize that you get to invest in yourself and, and what you want. And in those challenging moments, if you can, can recognize what's in your best interest versus what is going to be the most fun or the, the, the best thing for you in that immediate moment. Uh, I think that was a big lesson for me in investing in my future and realizing that the work that I did at Drake would lead to successes if, if I allowed that to happen. I think it taught us the value of having a space that you feel comfortable in and and how creativity blossoms through trust and whether that is trusting the directors or trusting our peers or trusting the seniors that were leading that year um, there was there was a definite intention in creating trust inside of the program and that allowed us to fall and to risk and to um, create and I think leads to incredible individual discoveries that impact a hundred kids at a time. And I think that that's just such a cool thing that we can do here. Um, it obviously impacted me in a way that I went on to teach choral music and am now existing in the space and trying to to create similar feelings that I, I enjoyed as a student. But um, I think all of that stems back to just creating an atmosphere of trust 